All right, but first, Aton Pates literally became the face of the missing children's movement when he vanished 33 years ago. He was the first missing child, as we said, to be featured on the side of a mail carton you see there. And now there's a new search right here in New York City for possible new clues in the case. Here's ABC's Jim Dolan. Six-year-old Eton Pates was abducted on his way to school back in May of 1979. The disappearance quickly drew nationwide attention, but despite a flood of media reporting, Eton's body was never found and no one was ever charged in the case. This is a, a re-examination of evidence as well as leads that we get. Recently, though, in an effort to revive the long, cold case, police interviewed 75-year-old Othniel Miller here in an old mugshot. Back in 1979, Miller did carpentry work in the building police are now investigating. He befriended Eton, even gave the boy a dollar the day before he was abducted. Police have known that all along, but when they spoke to Miller this time, he gave them information that confirmed the need to take a fresh look at the building. By that time, though, cadaver dogs had indicated that a body was there or had at some point been there. New technology available to law enforcement will help in the search. Neighbors say Miller is quiet and lives with his grown daughter now. He was picked up by the FBI, now the central character in a case that changed so much about America. It was very disturbing to know that a child had vanished right on our block. We want to stress that no one has been arrested or charged in connection with this case, and sources continue to refer to Mr. Miller as a person of interest and not a suspect in the disappearance of Aton Pates. Aton Pates' parents put out a sign outside their Soho apartment last night asking reporters to please leave them alone. For ABC News in New York City, I'm Jim Dolan. Mm. That man in question had given Aton Pates a dollar, I believe, just a, a couple of days before for helping him out with something. But it's amazing that these cadaver dogs, these forensic dogs, even if his body was there for 24 hours, they can, they'll can they be able to detect it even decades later. But they said there was fresh concrete uh, that was laid down in that building the, the week that he disappeared. So they're going to have to dig all of that up. Wow. And you can mm. imagine what his parents are going through right now when they get mm. that phone call that there's been a crack in the case. They say they never moved out of that Soho apartment never even changed their phone number, all in hopes that one day the little boy would still mm. call or show back up 33 years later. Let's hope they finally get some. There's never closure in the death of a child or, or this kind of case, but at least some peace and some sense of what really happened. I can only imagine as a parent, I, told, yeah. I was never going to let my kids walk by themselves to school. Smart. Can't do it.